Hey learners, today we are going to study about auxins. Auxin is a plant hormone. It means that this hormone is only found in plants and it is indole acetic acid. It means that its chemical nature is indole acetic acid. They are going to perform various functions in a plant body. For example, in stems, they promote cell enlargement in the region behind apex and in the cambium. They are present here. You can see this part here. This is stem. They are formed at the tip of the stem or at the apex. Apex means tip. So at this point, the auxins they are formed and then they are going to work here or behind the apex and they are going to increase or enlarge the cell at this area. Okay. So it means that they are formed here and then they will move downward and then they are going to increase the cell length. If they are present in the root, they are going to promote growth when they are present at low concentration and they are going to inhibit the growth when they are present at the high concentration. It means that normally auxins, they are going to increase the length in the shoot region while in the root region, they are not going to increase the length or they are going to inhibit or stop the growth. Similarly, they promote root growth from cuttings and calluses for example you have cut a stamp here and then you are planting it to a new pot they are going to increase the root growth there and the calluses they are actually the group of cells which are formed when the tree is injured for example if the tree is injured at this point and the callus is formed at this point the auxins they are also going to promote the growth Similarly, they promote bud initiation in the shoot. Bud initiation means that they are going to start the formation of a bud. But sometimes antagonistic to cytokinin and is inhibitory. And if the cytokinin is present, they are going to work against the cytokinin and they are going to inhibit or stop the bud formation. Antagonistic means that they are going to work opposite to the particular cytokinin. Along with this, they promote the apical dominance and fruit growth. Now, what is apical dominance? Apical dominance means that they are going to stimulate the growth of the main shoot or main stem. If the auxins they are absent, there are going to be some secondary shoot formation. Here you can see. When the secondary shoot is formed, it means it is not apical dominance. But if secondary shoots they are not formed and only the main stem is increasing in size it means it is apical dominance. So auxin is going to promote the apical dominance. Along with this it is also uh, going to promote the fruit growth but sometimes it induces the parthenocarpy. The parthenocarpy is a special process in which a fruit is developed without any fertilization. It means that male and female gametes they are not fused with each other and without this the fruit is developed. But make sure that the fruit which is formed by the parthenocarpy will not have any seed. The auxins they also cause delay in leaf senescence. Senescence means aging that they are not going to allow the leaf to become old. Along with this they also inhibit abscission. Now what is abscission is the normal separation or shedding of plant parts. We know that in autumn the leaves they are going to shed. So if the auxins are present they are not allowing the plants to shed their leaves. For example, here we can see the auxin is present and it is affecting here. The leaf is intact but when the auxin is stopped, what will happen? The leaf is going to be shedded or separated from the shoot. There are many commercial applications of auxins because of the presence of synthetic indole acetic acid compounds. Because they are very cheap and they are very effective Why? because the plant enzymes they cannot break them down. So you can easily use the synthetic indole acetic acid. For example, we have NAA which is naphthalene acetic acid and indole propionic acid. They are going to stimulate fruiting that uh, fruit growth and parthenocarpy. It means that the um, formation of fruit without fertilization. Similarly, we have 2,4-D which is 2,4-dichlorophenoxy acetic acid. This is used as a selective weed killer and it is going to kill the broad-leaved species. So if you wanted to remove these, you can use this one. 
it also inhibits sprouting of potatoes the sprouting means we know that uh, when the potatoes they are left for some times they are going to you know produce small birds on their cells so this process is inhibited when 24d is used along with this they are going to inhibit premature fruit dropping premature means that the fruit is not ready yet and it drops so if the auxin is applied on the trees this process can be stopped so that was all about the auxins if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i'll see you in the next video